I've been reading creepy stories for years, but now I find myself with a story that has been given me nothing less than pure terror. Mr. Mime.exe posted by XX Dixucium XX. I know I say this a lot, but I really mean it with this story. Listener discretion is advised. The following contents may greatly disturb some listeners. Here we go. As a child, I loved Pokemon. I got all of the toys and VHS tapes of the show. My favorite of all was a Game Boy Color game called Mr. Mime Tells the Time. The game was extremely expensive and very advanced for its time. It starred my favorite Pokemon, Mr. Mime. The main feature of the game was that it was a clock. Needless to say, the game is easily one of my favorite games of all time. Not only would the game tell the time, but if you turned it off for an hour, it would still be keeping track of what time it is. I played the game nearly day and night. My friends were so jealous of me when I would be playing it during recess. It was hands down the most fun I've ever had. Although one day I dropped the Game Boy Color on the ground and it snapped into a thousand pieces and tears came out of my face and my nose fell off and my sister had to stay home that day since it was Saturday and the Simpsons were on and my friend was coming over and I was very sad. I nearly died of sadness that day. I stayed in a deep depression for 30 years even after I got married and had three kids. One day an old man blocked the exit of my house. I walked up to him. It seemed like he was homeless. He turned to me. He didn't have that much clothing on. He showed me a cartridge. It was Mr. Mime Tells the Time for the Game Boy Color. I gave him my money and walked back inside to put it in my copyrighted third-party machine which can play Game Boy Color games without the use of emulation, which I hate. I played the game for the next three days straight. When I had to go, I went on the floor. When I had to eat, I ate the carpet. This caused my wife to divorce me and she took custody of my three children. I stopped playing the game that day since I had to go to court for the divorce and whatever. Once I got home, I immediately went to go turn the copyrighted third-party machine back on so I could play with Mr. Mime again. It had been a long day and I needed to see my only love again. Every second away was like being trapped in space. There was no sound, nothing to see and I felt cold. It was way too cold. I figured that before I started up the game, I should turn up the thermostat since my ex-wife had always had it set to 65 degrees. I'm a big boy now, so I don't need to ask permission when I do this sort of thing. Mr. Mime was waiting for me. He knew how I felt, but strangely, it still felt so cold. I realized as well that it was winter and all of my windows had been open for days. I'd been robbed before, but thankfully every time the thieves, despite taking my valuables, were not aware of the insane value of Mr. Mime Tells the Time. They left it there like the fools they are. I chuckled for a bit, coughed, threw up, and then sat down in front of my television. When I turned on the game, I was horrified to find the scariest thing ever, right in front of me. In front of my eyeballs I used for seeing purposes. A single drop of blood was on the top right of the screen. I was so scared that large lumps began to grow in the back of my pants and liquid started flowing from the front. Mr. Mime looked at me and said one final word, boo. And that's where the story ends. Pretty scary, huh? Well, hopefully nothing of the sort happens to you listeners, but you never know. Sometimes truth is scarier than fiction. <laughs>